A reheating furnace can typically be defined as a chamber comprising of four walls, hearth and roof built with refractory bricks and insulation material enclosed within a steel structure. All the six faces of the chamber are exposed to high temperature ranging from 800 to 1400 degrees Celsius. So the material of the wall, hearth and roof should be carefully selected as to withstand the high temperature. The small-scale re-rolling mills do not run on a continuous basis for 24 hours in a day and the walls are cooled during idling. Therefore, the refractory material should be able to withstand thermal shock due to cyclic operation. In conventional furnaces, due care is not given towards selection of correct refractory and insulation lining. Almost 10 to 12 percent of the total heat input is lost as radiation and conduction losses through the furnace walls. Higher furnace skin temperatures are common symptoms of inadequate refractory and insulation material. The radiation losses increase considerably as temperature increases. In addition, a large number of radiation heat losses happen through openings in the furnace such as inspection doors, ejector spaces, etc. The furnace is divided into soaking, heating and preheating zones. The pattern of the refractory lining varies with these zones at the furnace roof, side walls and end walls. Constituents of lining at different locations of the furnace are based on the temperature profile. The side walls of the soaking and heating zone should be ideally built with 230 mm thick, 60% alumina quality refractory bricks backed by 115 mm thick hot face insulation bricks, 115 mm thick mica insulation bricks, 75 mm thick calcium silicate block insulation and a 5 mm thick asbestos sheet. Similarly, the roof should be built by 250 mm thick special shaped bricks backed by 50 to 100 mm ceramic fiber and 50 to 75 mm thick insulating castable. For furnace hearth, suitable castable refractory material or high alumina refractory bricks can be used. For effective insulation of the furnaces, it is recommended to install ceramic fiber insulation in the inspection doors. A significant amount of energy can be saved by adoption of optimum refractory and insulation and sealing of furnace openings. To understand the benefits of optimum refractories and insulation, let us consider the example of a furnace with 3600 operating hours per year. With an efficient refractory lining design, the skin temperature of the furnace comes down from 155 degrees centigrade to 60 degrees centigrade. That is, the fuel consumption comes down from more than 1.6 lakh liters per year to nearly 24,000 liters per year. This saves 36.3 lakh rupees every year. The improvements require an investment of 20 lakh rupees and the payback period would be around six months. Similarly, ceramic fiber insulation will result in the reduction in fuel consumption of 65,000 liters per year. That means a saving of 16.2 lakh rupees per year. With an investment of 5 lakhs, the payback period will be three months.